Greetings, greetings, greetings. Sorry about that. I had to do a, another recording. This is a recording, and, you know, we're just going straight to it, the politics part. Yeah, I shared the screen, but, you know, I had to delete a video. Sorry about that, y'all. And I'm just trying to see where we at, you know. The New York Times, we're going to get that. We're going to share another screen, and we're going to get back to it. Um. Yeah, we're going to. We're going to see and we're going to show y'all what what's what. These damn commercials and shit. I don't want to get flagged. You know how YouTube is with the copyright. I I was going to say fair use, but I said something told me. Just don't post that. (laughs) And I'm smart. I, I, I didn't. I was saying a lot of shit. But it is what it is. But this right here in the map, this is what it's going to look like, race to 270. And you already know New Hampshire and, and Maine, and the mother states in part, these are some place in Maine is blue and, you know, New Hampshire. And then Vermont, everything else is blue on the up north except for New Hampshire. And, of course, they can be red or whatever. And then you got Wisconsin, of course. You got Minnesota and Iowa. These are key states to win. Texas and all that. That issue is Georgia was a toss-up. Like you're going back to the twenty. 20- 22 the senator elections see this is where we at now this is where the map looks like okay that's where we at right now that's what we're gonna do and i might post this to the let's put this yeah and race to 220 okay we're gonna stop sharing the screen and we're gonna get to the main topic okay Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get to the main topic, so we're gonna get in into it. We just 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 off the gate, cause I did record a video, and then that commercial fucked my video up, and cause I didn't want no copyright strike, or you know claim or whatever shit. Yo, this is play your video, little, 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 little. You know, advertise. I ain't got time. Uh-uh. No, we're not promoting that BS over here. Okay, let's see something real quick. Maximize it. There we go. There we go. From the top. Now, this is in April 25th, 2023. And I believe these were going to be the candidates. And they these two right here said they're going to run. If Biden chooses not to run, if he changes my mind, which he's not, I don't think they're going to count. OK, now Trump is indicted. Right. But he's going to pay that off. December is a long way. It's not, it's not going to he's he going to beat it. Me personally, he's going to beat it because. They ain't got nobody but Larry Elder, a bunch of, you know, and what's the name? Nikki Haley. They ain't got nobody. So this this shit is trash right here. I expect a little bit better, but you got Tim Scott. He, he's expected to run. Mike Pence, I believe he'll run. These two right here, I expect to run. Now, I heard Tucker Carlson's going to run. Things can change in one year of this year. Things can change, and we'll see the official date. But we're just going to keep this in suspense. And we're just going to keep it as it is. Like, we just understand what's going on. I saved this post or whatever. But let's see what we got to read here in New York Times, okay? By Martin Gomez, yeah. Like, you know, Martin Gomez. You know, Gonzalez Gomez, he would say. But Maggie Astor, okay. Four years after the historical large number of candidates ran for president. But the field of the 2024 uh, campaign it's starting out small and looks like it will be headlined by the same two aging men who ran in general election last time. But President Biden and former President Donald J. Trump. Right. Last update. Biden formally declared his bid for reelection in a three minute video post online. But the video, which comes four years to the day after his 2020 campaign announcement sets in motion, the possibility of a rematch with the former president, Donald Trump, uh, Donald J. Trump. But the number of Republicans are expected to enter the race, but most are taking their time to directly taking taking on Mr. Trump, who still holds on the extraordinary sway with their party's base. And Democrats are almost universally unwilling to challenge their own incumbents. So long as it seems like uh, likely to run, no matter their misgivings, that's what they say. OK. And then you see the speech. Robert F. Kennedy, you know, of course, getting a piece of Larry Elder. So it's pretty basically much. And then here's the runner up for 24 election. Who's running for president 2024? Are we keeping track? 
not quite at a year of the Supreme Court overturn Roe v. Versus Wade, but the battle over abortion rights has catapulted to the, to kill the center of the emerging 2024 campaign. Here's where they're likely contenders stand on the issue. President Biden, despite the re-election announcement, the president has no immediate plans to hold large rallies instead of likely to the quiet strategy, leverage the White House to burnish his record. But Biden's re-election and his renowned pledge to achieve the first team first term policy, but goals have forced some redirection and frustration among black voters to the battleground states. Okay. Donald Trump, since the former president was indicted, his legal travel uh, travels, his legal tra uh, travels, you know, they call it travels. Okay. Travels and his 2024 uh, campaign have played out in the split screen. But a decision by the Senator Steve Daines of Montana to endorse Trump reflected in Senator Republicans' uneasy alliance with the party's leading presidential candidate. But the GOP field, let's get into that. Mike Pence has faced many challenges in the potential 2024 run, perhaps none bigger than the former vice president's complicated relationship with Trump. Electability was supposed to, is to be one of Ron DeSantis' strengths. But it's the recent weeks, the Florida governor's ability to win over voters where it matters the most has come in question. So, yeah, but Trump can't take criticism. So this is, this is what it looks like. in So in 2024, you got these candidates based in April. We don't know what that's going to be like that for now. Right. We don't know like that's going to be like that for now. This is in April. And it was posted. It was updated in April 25th, 2023. So we're in the month of May right now. So it's pretty, it's pretty here. You know what I'm saying? It's it's pretty much here what you see right now. And the candidates is not appealing. So my, Mike Pompeo, right? And Larry Hogan is not running. Not surprisingly, because, you know, Republicans ain't got nobody but a bunch of losers except for, you know, everybody's favorite coon, uh, LD, uh, Larry Elder and Nikki Haley, her trash ass. She ain't got nothing to say. Mike Pence, I hate to say it, is more decent than all of them, even though I don't care for him either. You know, I already know where he stands at and how he runs Indiana. DeSantis is garbage. Ain't nobody going to vote for his weak ass and nobody going to vote for Tim Scott. But this guy right here, he's done been in the White House. So he, he'll I will. It'll be him and Biden. Me personally, if something happens to Trump, Mike Pence is the guy. Everybody else is eliminated. That's that's my perspective. But we're going to knock this off the screen. And I ain't going to be on there too long. I'm going to explain my position. Why I say Mike Pence can replace Trump if something happens to Trump with this indictment or whatever. If he's going to pay charges or whatever. You know, this weird society that we're in now in America. America's collapsing, as y'all can tell. And, you know, a lot of things going on in Sudan and everything. No one really cares. America ain't got the resources to defend those countries. They already got it in Ukraine. You know what I mean? That's going to come. You know, Africa's going to go in the dirt anyway. You know, fuck with Esau and them. You already know it's over. It's over, folks. But what you got in 2024, this is the future you're going to get. It may change at the end of the year. You know what I'm saying? But it's like why people focus on it now and not later. Okay. But that's the that's the thing that I see so many people just coming through and just say, look, Trump's got a chance. He does have a chance. I'm not saying he doesn't. I'm saying if he does have a chance, why even bother? You know what I mean? Why even bother? Because the fact remains. Why doesn't even matter at all? You know what I'm saying? Why does it matter at all? See, one thing about me, when I study this shit, it's not for the weak at heart. So that's all I got. But, you know, but 2024 is going to be an interesting year. And I'm just going to make this clear. If you understand proper politics, you understand that the world's changing, man. Nobody, nobody cares.
Nobody cares like that. But that's the whole purpose of me just talking and just, you know, just be out here and then be like, hey, this is the type of stuff we're talking about. Right. But I understand why people just don't really be focused on one thing and then they just get caught up on another. But the one thing about me is you see that things is going to get better in the future. But especially our people, they understand that things are changing. They got to get right. You know, y'all have hosts, of course. You know, modern day politics is just going to be what it is. They're going down the same path they always path, and then they're going to pander the people that they need the most, right? And then I'm just like out here just chilling. And I just stumble upon this and I say, you know, let me talk about this and refer to detail for my last um, clip. I was just talking about it in emotion, but we was focused on Don Lemon and then what's his name? Tucker Carlson. See, things can change. His fire. Yeah, he's going to be on TV, but is he possibly going to run in the future? He may run for president. We don't know. That's rumblings we heard. And this is post in April, what we just saw right here, but it's more good come it's a lot of things but we ain't posted yet i'll do a um analysis this week to see if something comes up and i talked about it on the vlog stream why 2024 is gonna be very interesting but what you're gonna see i ain't gonna promise y'all nothing about friday if i stream or not we'll see we'll see we're not in no rush we're in no damn rush so again you know this is this is something that we have to look at right that's the thing that we got to look at. But again, that's the culture that we live in and we expected to do more. So, so with that, people of Israel, praise to be the Yah. Shalom. Shalom to all the people that are chosen and the Gentiles that may want to serve us in Yah's blessing. Of course, shalom to you too. Until next time, I will see you at Thirsty Thrills, of course. Until next time. And I'm out.